Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video of Facebook Ads series, we are basically going to talk about offline events. So we will be talking about uh, what are offline events, how can we actually create them and, and how can these events actually help us in uh, basically optimizing our Facebook campaigns. So this is what we are going to discuss in this particular video. But before actually starting this video, I would like to request you to please do subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you do not miss any one of the upcoming videos. So guys, uh, we know that uh, data plays a very important role in optimization of our Facebook campaigns, right? And whatever data we are collecting, we have different sources for that, right? Uh, like we have Pixel, which is helping us to collect data from our website in the form of events. We can define different events which are happening on our website. We can we can define events on the basis of different interactions which are happening on our website. But many of the times very important events or we can say that many of the times some important conversations also happen away from the website or they happen offline, right? Uh, and it actually depends on the nature of the business that in what scenarios we are basically operating uh, that decides that whether our conversion or our event will happen online or it will happen offline, right? And as I told you, Whenever we want to track some events, we want, whenever we want to optimize our campaigns based on the events, we have to define those events. First of all, we have to define those events. Then we have to track those events that whether the, those events are actually happening or not. And according to the, that particular thing, we can optimize our campaign. This is how it actually works, right? So uh, creating uh, online event is very basic and we all know that how can we actually create online events. But when we talk about creating offline events, we are going to see that how can we actually create offline events and how can they actually help us right so we will be exploring all these things in this particular video so guys there are different businesses where the events or uh, like conversions are happening offline right let's take a scenario over here suppose we are running an advertisement right suppose we are running an advertisement let me let me mention this thing suppose we are running an ad right and that ad is having phone number right phone number is mentioned over there uh, without clicking on that ad or without going on our website, what user is doing, uh, he or she is basically picking up the phone number from there, right? Picking up the phone number from there and they are uh, calling to us, right? They are calling us and now they converted, right? So we have this data that there are some people who converted, but this conversion is basically offline or whatever the events they made or what, whatever the events happened is all offline, right? Now we want to push this data into Facebook ad system because we know that whenever we want to optimize our campaign, data is very important thing, right? And whatever conversions are happening on a website or whatever events are happening on website, Facebook ads tracks them automatically because we have pixels and we have defined our events, right? But whenever any important event or any activity or any conversion is happening offline, Right, there is no way to connect this offline data, right? If anyone is calling us, how could Facebook know, right? Or how could Facebook system know that someone is calling us and now they uh, have converted, right? It is very difficult to track these kind of things, right? So what we are going to do is, suppose we have some offline converters list with us, offline converters list. And this list is because we have some CRMs, right? We have some uh, client relationship management systems or softwares that we will use to store that particular list, right? So now we have the information of the persons or the people who have actually converted, right? So uh, we can push this information, we can push this information into our Facebook ad system and according to this, the Facebook ads campaign will track whether these events happen from uh, Facebook users or not or what are the different converters. They will basically map the data, the data that you provided and the data is there within the campaign. They will try to map that thing and according to that, they will find uh, Facebook system will basically find that uh, whether this uh, conversion came from anyone who has clicked on your ad or who has engaged with your ad or who was there in your audience and all right. So this is how it actually works. So we have two modes of sending data back to Facebook ad system. One is basically the online thing right which is basically done by the pixel which can be installed on your website or also on your app right. So we have uh, this one thing. And the other thing that we have is offline, right? So we have some list, we have some information, we have some data over here that will be pushed back into Facebook ad system. So if this one is Facebook ad system, right? If this one is Facebook ad system, we can, we can push data from here as well as we can push data from here also. That will basically help us in tracking, tracking 
events right as well as it will help us in optimizing facebook ads campaign this is how it is going to work actually right so uh, we know that how this thing actually works now in this particular case we are going to uh, we are going to set up uh, an offline event through our list right so suppose suppose if we have a list of converters over here like as you can see we have a list of converters over here where are some headers right so this is from our crm we can assume that this one is from our crm we we have a crm which basically stores the information of each and every individual and from there we have downloaded one actual sheet which uh, carries the information of the converter so uh, let us assume that this is the list of the converters who actually converted right now when we will push this data back to facebook system and if facebook will be able to identify that okay uh, this email ID is there on Facebook also and they have interacted with your ad right so they will map that thing and they will they will assign they will assign that uh, conversion to that particular campaign right so this is how it actually works and this is how your different data sources now what I am saying you is data sources different data sources one is pixel another one is this one this list right so this is how your different data sources contribute in Facebook ads optimization or setting up Facebook events no matter whether they are online events or offline events right so how we can upload this data uh, in the form of offline uh, converted audiences right so this is what we are going to see in this particular video so we'll come over here and now what we have to do is we have to click on this connect data source and we have to select this offline thing we have very simple steps from here and then we have to accept this thing and uh, let's uh, let's uh, give it a name for our offline event which is like converters right these are the converters and this can be the lead to right this can be the lead to now we will uh, leave this thing blank and then we will click on this uh, continue now we have to do some small that now we have to upload all these things so we will uh, pass this uh, information to this particular account only now we will click on this next we have other options also through which we can do that and then we have to click on this uh, continue and now from here we will assign some roles let me assign some roles okay let me assign some roles to the users which are there in this particular ad account so we have uh, another demo file over here that we are going to uh, upload right we have downloaded this file from here so we have to select this thing and then we have to upload our thing right so what we can do is we have to uh, come to this desktop and from here we will be uploading right now we have selected this file over here now we will click on this map data right so it will try to map the different uh, headers and if we have any issues right you can go ahead and because we haven't mentioned anything over here uh, we have to select our country code from here so do these phone numbers already contain a valid country code no so we have to select because now we have to select india from here right india and if you want to ignore some uh, things you can also do that thing from here right so uh, that option is also there so let me let me ignore this thing okay it is ignored because we have multiple phone numbers over here so it's just a dummy data uh, so we can ignore ignore this thing from here now we have all these data over here right so what we will do is we will go ahead and click on next review and then we will try to upload right so there are some warnings also you have to uh, look after those warnings and everything now uh, 10 rows are uploaded so guys we have now uploaded our offline events that is basically conversion right so it will map it will map uh, from the different campaigns that we have right and it will provide us results accordingly right so uh, this is how it actually works and you can also track your offline events in such a way always make sure if you have any crm or if you are getting some uh, conversions or events offline also then you can definitely go ahead and connect the different data source to also uh, provide data regarding your offline events and that will basically help you in optimizing your campaigns automatically also because that data is there now right so that's it for this specific video see you in my next video till then goodbye